Let's turn now to CBS News Chief Justice and Homeland Security Correspondent Jeff Pegues. He's in Washington. Hi, Jeff. Have investigators found any type of motive for this terrible shooting? No, they're still looking into it. Of course, Carter alluded to the issues with uh, PTSD. Uh, there had been some previous cases where investigators were called to the home. Uh, the sheriff saying today that uh, he, he, he appeared to be cleared of any concern that he had PTSD. But if you talk to people who knew him, family members, as CBS News has done, what you learn is that uh, he had a, a, a troubled background, at least according to what they are telling us. He was in the Marines from 2008 to 2013. Uh, and according to family members, when he came home, he was distant. So these are all questions that investigators will look into. They will try to talk to family members as well to get mm -hmm. as much information as they can uh, because they want to figure out what the motive is behind this attack. Do we have more details about his time in the service? He was a corporal. Uh, as I said, he was in the service from 2008 to 2013. He served in Afghanistan, and that really is about it. There is not a, a lot there in his mm -hmm. service record, but uh, obviously investigators will be able to dig deeper into that. Uh, but also, what was he saying to family members in the days leading up to these shootings, to this shooting? Uh, what we've learned from previous cases is that uh, typically uh, these active shooter types, they talk about what they're going to do, or at least you can see some of the planning that is going into an attack like the one that we saw overnight. So investigators will be delving into that background to see if there were any signs there that perhaps uh, family members may have been aware of. Uh, or whether they had at some point notified someone that perhaps he was troubled and could be a danger to others. What will it mean to investigators that he could have been suffering from PTSD? How, how would that factor into the investigation? Well, that, that's another major issue. You know, the other thing with many of these active shooting cases is that there is... Uh, there are mental health issues at play. And so this is another factor here. And the fact that uh, the sheriff brought that up is notable that he was talking about it early on in this investigation, which we are early on in this case. Uh, but it is certainly something that you want to delve deeper into whenever uh, you have uh, any mention of someone who served in the Marines uh, or uh, another branch. Uh, and when there is any sort of discussion about the fact that he could have had some sort of post-traumatic stress syndrome. Our Jeff Pegues in Washington, thank you so much.